The Free State of Jones Movie Review. The Free State of Jones is a masterpiece in a lot of ways, but it's not a perfect film, not by any means. The Free State of Jones stars Matthew McConaughey, who plays real-life former Confederate soldier Newton Knight, who started his own rebellion in Jones County, Mississippi, during the Civil War uh, with a mixture of former Confederate soldiers and former slaves. They rebelled against the Confederacy uh, and went back to being loyal to the Union. The strong points of this film really come from the performances of the actors. Uh, Matthew McConaughey was sensational in it. And like all Hollywood movies, you know, they do take a little bit of liberties with history. Um, that's why it's not, you know, a true, true story, just inspired by a true story. But the story's an interesting one uh, for what it was. You know, a county of Mississippi rebelling against the Confederacy uh, for succeeding and in entering and, you know, in, in starting a war uh, with the North. And it doesn't get chronicled enough, uh, but of course Hollywood has to make a movie on it uh, in this day and age <clears throat> when we deal with more civil rights issues and um, kind of remember that there were people who didn't like, in the South, who didn't like the Confederacy and didn't want to be at war and stuff. But, uh, you know, I praise Matthew McConaughey for this performance. He was fantastic. Is it the type of performance that could win him another Oscar? Possibly. I don't know if it's a better performance than what he did in the Dallas Buyers Club. But to say the, but it doesn't take away from anything that he has done in this film. It had a good, strong cast. Uh, had a lot of great action scenes. But again, it's not perfect. The problem with making a Hollywood movie based off of story that really encompasses 12 years, because the rebellion started in 1862, and this little community that became its own independent nation, if you will, was that way until 1876, towards the end of Reconstruction. So you can't, without doing a miniseries and trying to put a movie in, into, you know, two, two and a half hours, you have to show the most, you have to show the highlights, the most important parts. So you do run the risk of a movie being kind of choppy because of that. But this movie does, in, in dealing with that kind of problem, does very well. Uh, it shows you the most important parts of what happened, you know, with the community to friends being hung, uh, you know, after the war ended. And even though there was a lot of people that agreed with what he was doing that was tired of the war, uh, they still didn't like the idea of African Americans, you know, being, uh, being equal. So you do see the effects of Reconstruction, the rise of the Ku Klux Klan, that there really wasn't true freedom. Now, what makes this film interesting is you get the back, you do get this story of Newton Knight, but you also see a story of his descendants. Now, Newton Knight was married uh, to a white, uh, a Caucasian woman, and had a son. And when he was on the run for the law for sedition and at risk of being hung for treason, she moved away. But then she came back. He took up with uh, uh, an Afri a former African American slave, and they did have a son. And descendants came from that. Well, what's interesting is in this little community that he built up in Jones County, his wife returned, and they all kind of lived in the same area. And it, it is very interesting to go back and see the the, the full story, of what really happened. Well, in the movie, you do get to see one of his great-grandson being put on trial in Mississippi uh, because he is considered one-eighth one <coughs> African-American. And at the time, in the 60s, it was against the law for interracial marriages. And during the trial, you know, he's not going to give up on the woman that he loves and defies the state and is sentenced to five years in the state penitentiary. 
the case would eventually be overturned by the state Supreme Court as civil rights were starting to set in uh, within Mississippi. But it makes it very entertaining and, and, and this great movie because you get to see the after effects of what happened. And there, and as part of the story, the family Bible uh, with lists of births and, and the family tree becomes, you know, evidence in this case. If you really look at the entire backstory, there's a very distinctive divide in look in whether he is considered a hero or a traitor to the South. Uh, still, you know, going on today. And they kind of explore that a little bit in the movie as even the people that were with him during the war that, you know, deserted and built up this community and fought off against Confederate soldiers, you know, trying to hang them. They kind of turned on each other because, you know, African Americans were right there, uh, former slaves, and they still didn't want them to really be on, you know, to be considered equal. So, you know, you get this mixture of, instead of flashbacks, you tell the story of Newton Knight and his rebellion, but you get this flash forward of his descendants and explaining the, you know, the, the, you get to see the cause and the effect of what happened. Um, I thought this was probably one of the best, you know, devices ever used in a movie, especially telling the story, because we never really think, when we tell a story, you know, when we make a movie based on a true story, we never really truly think of, you know, the after effects. Like when we tell, when we do war movies, we tell a certain time in war, but we never really talk about anything else, unless it's a miniseries, you know, and what would happen to these people um, afterwards. Uh, so it's a very great device of the, the use of cause and effect. Um, I give this movie a 9 out of 10. It is a fantastic movie, okay? But I do take a little bit of issue with the ending because there really isn't a true, true ending to the story. Newton Knight and his community came back under, you know, control of, of the United States. They weren't their own independent nation at the end of Reconstruction. And, you know, um, while you deal with issues of them trying to, you know, gather at that time Republicans who were more liberal than Democrats, you know, the right to vote, um, and you get to see how Jim Crow laws kind of finally set into the South. Um, you know, the ending just kind of leaves you at a certain point and it doesn't really address, you know, go beyond that. And it isn't exactly a happy ending because you are still dealing with the fact that even though all this happened, that everybody was equal at one time, they weren't really equal. And he would be ostracized for marrying an African-American woman and having children. Um, but at a certain point, you know, when you have a two and a half hour movie, you either have to make a miniseries out of the story or you have to kind of show, you know, the biggest, the, the highlights of this history and bank it into a movie. And that's what they did here. Um, there were some times that it kind of dragged a little bit that you're trying to show, you know, um, these kind of long waiting periods, I would, when, you know, they're hiding out in the swamp and stuff. Um, but, you know, I think for what the story is, the movie does flow very well. Uh, the action is great. You know, Matthew McConaughey embodies that spirit of Newton Knight. Um, and again, the cast is great. But you have to ask yourself one thing about a movie. Whether it's going to, you know, to make, to consider it great. Is it entertaining? Is it a movie that you would watch again? Does it inspire you? Okay. And I think it has all of those things. But unlike movies that we very rarely give a perfect 10 to, like the movie Spotlight, this one I just can't. Because there are some minor issues that take away from it being a perfect 10. But a 9 out of 10? Absolutely. And I think this is a movie that everybody should go see in the theater, you know, and it's a, definitely a movie that will probably be shown in classrooms, uh, will be talked about, 
And it's a movie that I think will inspire people to go up to go and look up the real history and, you know, make us realize that not all of the Confederacy were for the war or for succeeding. And that Reconstruction was still pretty bad. And when, you know, Union soldiers finally left the South, we had 100 years of Jim Crow laws until the Civil Rights Movement. So it lends to a very, you know, important part of American history. And if the movie inspires us to go and do that, which I think it, you know, it does, or to, you know, go and look all that up, then it's done its job. But is this a movie that you'll see more than once? I guarantee you, you will. Is this a movie that you will be talking about? Absolutely. Does Matthew McConaughey uh, do an outstanding job? Yes, he does. So, Free State of Jones. If you're looking for a great movie to watch that's based on history, a good period piece, this is the one you want to see.